In this exercise, you'll perform many basic Photoshop skills, which, which will provide you with a, a very good foundation as you learn Photoshop going forward. So um, let me close this PDF. Before you start any exercise, as always, make a folder for the exercise. So I created this folder in a known location. I downloaded the specs, which was the PDF we just looked at, and uh, the Photoshop Skills 1 PSD file. So let me double click and open this file, and here's what you'll see. This, is, this Photoshop document is designed to have uh, seven layers, and what you'll do is you'll, there's seven tasks to perform, and you'll do them in, in uh, succession by enabling each layer as we go up. If that doesn't make any sense, just stick with me because I'm going to demo this step by step. But let's take a look here. What's the, fir what's the first thing it says? Save this uh, file as PS Skills 1, your name in a known location. <clears throat> file, save as, spec say PS Skills 1, stick your name in there. It's a PSD file, of course, and it'll save into the same folder in which you have downloaded the uh, the exercise file okay okie doke so make sure you have your up here is the file name and it's correct now what uh, click on the eyeball for the task one layer and follow the directions so come over here click on task one the eyeball now the task one is visible however make sure that the task one layer is enabled. See this instructions layer is blue? That means I can't work on task one. I can't do anything on it. Click once on task one. So the, the layer that you're working on has to be selected, enabled. It has to be blue, all right? So we're raring to go here. What's it say? And I'll, I'll just read it quickly because you'll be able to read this yourself. We're gonna use the marquee selection tool to draw a perfect square fill it with black, draw a perfect circle, fill it with black, and then draw a multi-sided object. So, number one, marquee selection tool, draw a perfect square. Come to the toolbar, select the marquee tool, the selection tool, anywhere over your canvas, hold down shift, click, hold, drag. Holding down shift makes a perfect square, so now we have this perfect square. Now how do we fill it with black? Well, we can click on a brush, and stroke it in with black. Another way to do this, let me set this to the default here, the toolbar. The halfway down there's this little thing, it's the eraser tool, underneath that is the gradient tool. Uh, the default toolbar has the gradient tool up front. Hit the drop down menu by the gradient tool, enable the paint bucket tool. Now come down here and make sure your fill color is correct. The fill color is the foreground color, and it's black. That's the default. If this is some other color, or if white is in the foreground, whatever, all you have to do is click on this teeny tiny little black and white icon right here, and that reverts it to the default. So clicking here, paint bucket tool. With the paint bucket tool enabled, hover anywhere within the selection, click once. And there it paints in a perfect square. To deselect, do Command D as in dog or Control D, deselect. Let's draw a perfect circle. We come up to the marquee selection tool, hit the drop down menu, choose the elliptical marquee tool. Again, holding down the shift key, click, hold, drag, draw a perfect circle. Paint bucket tool, everything should be ready to go. Hover anywhere in a selection, click once. And there's your perfect circle. Control D or Command D as in dog to deselect. Use the polygon lasso tool to draw a multi sided object and fill it with any color of your choice. Okay, so polygon lasso tool, let me hit the default here. What you'll see, um, you'll see the, the lasso tool is the default tool that's, that's in the forefront. Hit the drop down menu, choose polygon lasso tool come to your canvas, and it's just a click, let go uh, kind of action. Click and let go, click, let go, and you can draw a shape. Any any multi-sided shape is okay. And if I double, I can come here and join up, and you'll see the little 
little circle that means it's ready to connect up or I can double click anywhere and it'll enclose the selection it says any color of your choice there's lots of ways to work with color in Photoshop for now just come over to this foreground this black foreground uh, block double click on it the color picker will come up and you can use these sliders to uh, go all across the spectrum pick any color you'd like you hover over the this field here choose a color it'll be here you have to click OK and now our foreground um, color is the color we just chose enable the paint bucket tool hover in the selection and um, there you go we just finished task one so let's save our file you can click file save or you can go control D or I'm sorry control S or command S to save and um, let me deselect by hitting control D and we'll uh, start on task two in the next video